Hello YouTube, how you doing today? It's your man Block News again. You know, I was watching the series of videos. It's like an epidemic on YouTube now. I know I might be a little late to the game um, in terms of finding out what's going on. Um, but in all honesty, you know, first of all, I want to apologize to anybody who might have an issue in terms of the the camera quality. I was trying to fix it. I think I might just have to get like a new laptop or something like that and just record a new camcorder. Um, with like one of those webcams or something like that. So there is this new trend that I'm seeing on YouTube. It is black men talking bad about black women. And black women talking bad about black men. There's like a gender war, like a gender um, fight going on within the black community. And I kind of have to say that I'm disappointed. I'm very disappointed because First of all, I feel like we as a community are airing out our dirty laundry. I don't see any other community doing that. Um, I just think it's a disgrace. I mean, after everything that we have to go through with basically the whole with slavery, with the destruction of the black family, the Willie Lynch letter, which I know a lot of people don't believe existed. A lot of people think that the Willie Lynch letter was like, you know, something that was fabricated. But let me tell you something, whether or not it was fabricated, it makes a whole lot of sense today. A lot of the stuff that was on that letter are happy today. So what exactly does that tell us as a community? Now, my experience being a black man and um, not a quote unquote thug or I don't wear my pants sagging. I don't have goatees or anything like that. I don't, I try not to speak and, and you know, with, with Ebonics and stuff like that, you know. Um, you know, I work really hard. I'm pretty successful. I have a successful business. I'm actually in my office right now, um, in one of the rooms in my office. And, um, you know, my problem is I try to figure out what's the disconnect within the black family. And I think I'm going to give, first, I'm going to give my opinion. And I think a lot of people are going to dislike it. A lot of my videos don't get a lot of likes. Um, you know, there's a lot of hate. I get a lot of inboxes from people who just literally are livid. A lot of people have flagged my shit. Um, you know, it's fine. Whatever. I would say fuck you, but I don't know you. <laughs> don't give a shit. Don't care. Um, the problem that I'm seeing within the black community is, uh, first of all, any community starts with the women. Any community, if you want to build anything, why do we say Mother Earth, not Father Earth? We say father time, but we say mother earth, right? It's the mother load. It's, it's, it's what is, mothers are nurturing. They give birth. They are, um, you know, basically they are the beginning, right? Mother gives life, you know? You know, everything about being a mom or being a woman is about producing life, reproducing. So automatically that puts women, um, on a pedestal because as men we can't produce life because I'm, let me tell you something if we as men could produce life i i would say like 90 i said not, not, i would say like 95 percent of us would not need women we wouldn't want well, what do we need women for if we could produce life it is nature it's i'm not being a sexist i'm being honest it is nature if women could produce life without men right if most women could produce life without men, why would they need men? If we were asexual creatures, we would need the other. We really wouldn't be having this discussion about uh, black men um, and, and black women and all the stuff that's going on going on in YouTube. I think it's a disgrace to our community. It is sad. Every time I go on YouTube, if I see a video that says World Star, I know it's going to be a disgrace. It's going to be another humiliation, and it's going to be sad, and it's not going to be funny. It's going to be stupid. Because we generally, um, for some strange reason, are allowing people to control our thoughts, our minds, you know what I'm saying? Like our, our thoughts and minds, what's in our hearts. Like we're allowing that to happen and it's actually taking a physical toll. It's taking a toll on our psyche as a, as a culture. And um, I think it's a very sad situation. You know, let's be honest here. It starts with the women. I, 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 look, I know I'm a man. It sounds like I'm being biased. Whatever. It starts with that. Okay, fine. I'm, I'm a man and I'm black. So, I guess what? My double bias? It starts with the women. Because let me explain to you something. I was watching this video about a young lady 
who um, wrote a story. Uh, she wrote a letter saying she apologized to black men um, for her denigration um, and feminization of the black male. And also, but quite frankly, just the lack of caring towards the black male that has gone on in this community for the past, you know, also three decades, two or three decades. I want to express and, and get into the root of the matter, and I'm going to give my opinion. And um, if I'm wrong, I want people to join in the discussion. Uh, let me know that I'm wrong. I will not be deleting any comments. I will not be flagging or blocking anyone. I want to have an honest discussion about what has happened to the black community. Now, granted, I think some people who watch my video will understand that I'm Haitian. I'm of Haitian descent, and I'm very proud of it. I was born in Brooklyn, but you know my family is Haitian. And I'm very proud of my um my uh, my my heritage and my culture. You know, I you know just take one good look. You, you see what I'm talking about. All right, so let's get into the nitty gritty of it. The first thing, reason why I start with black women. Let me explain to you something. Black women have a self a self love problem. I'm going to explain where I come with that. Like I said. I'm not being sexist, I'm just being a realist, based on what I've seen, uh, based on just quite frankly behavior. You know, if you went to college and you took critical thinking, or any type of psychology class, you will understand exactly what I'm talking about. Let's take our heads out the sand, let's stop being biased, I know we're black, um, but I'm going to start with the black woman because it starts with, it starts from the womb. From the time a black girl dips out into this world, she opens her eyes and she looks around her, from the time she does that, in this country we call the United States. Physically, the, most of the time, the very first thing she sees will be, what will she see? The nurses, right? Or the doctors. They generally are not black. So, from the very beginning, as a child, they start to process that. They start to see anything that has to do with utility, anything that has to do with prosperous, anything that has to do with control, generally is not black. Everything is encompassing that. You know, I, I watched the movie Avatar, and I love how all the people in that planet, they weren't people, I forgot the name, uh, I think they were Narumo, whatever they were called, but the point is, such a beautiful movie, by the way, visually, um, unlike this webcam here. Um, they all were interconnected. Everything meant something to someone somewhere. So, example, from the time that little black girl gets out of the womb, she sees white people or other people. Women are very sensitive. They, they care a lot about people's opinions. From the time that little black girl starts going to the kindergarten, first grade, second grade, third grade, fifth grade, what does she see? She sees on television nothing but long hair. The image of beauty is long, flowy hair, uh, blonde hair, you know, some really shiny, awesome brunette cap. But she sees long hair from both black, white, Hispanic, Asian, whatever. All the women in the world on television have long hair. They all have a particular hair. Now, I'm not saying all have 100%, okay? But they all have a particular hairstyle. So when I look at uh, stuff like that, I, I say to myself, being that I'm a father and I have a daughter, and I think to myself, hmm, where does that play into her insecurity? Because first of all, if you don't love yourself, it's going to be very hard for you to love another person. Especially when people are telling you that that other person is the cause of your problem. I'm going to get to that later, about the social aspect of what's happening to black women and the black family in general in this country. So, from the time she's born, she's seen that image. And every time she sees an image of herself, generally, it's either that image with the long hair, someone trying to be something they're not, okay? All the products that are being done, all the hair stuff, all the commercials, ladies and gentlemen, Please show me how many commercials you see on television that promotes natural hair in black women. Even if they promote the natural hair, they always seem to find a way to incorporate it being either straight, flowy, or it might be short, but it wants to be straight. It's never really the natural hair. Now, I'm not saying every black woman has kinky hair. Africa is a humongous, humongous planet, the most diversified, diversified planet on Earth. Africa itself, if you took Africa off this earth, this earth would not be the same. If you take any other continent off this earth, it would probably still be the same because everything that you find, matter of fact, everything from this laptop, everything 
is generated from Africa. You know, the materials in this laptop. I mean, I, I can get into that in another video, but I'm going to talk about just the black family right now, the black male versus the black women. And it's a sad epidemic. So this black woman has thought has been thought from the time she was born to basically she was born lacking something. You know, what, what was it back in the day? Making fun of her butt, making fun of her skin color, making fun of her nose. Look, hey, your nose is flat. You know, you have a flat nose. Look at your cheekbones. You know, look, look at your hair. I mean, from the time she was born, she has been victimized by society. Okay, and now she has internalized that. And now she's been given a piece of the pie. Black women are graduating at an alarming rate compared to black men. Alarming. So now there's this thing. Honey, there's no there's no good black men out there. There's no good black men out there. And the black men out there are no good, or they're either gay or undercover, or, or basically they like white women. That is a mentality that has been pervasive in our community. And we have allowed it to go on far too long. Now we're expressing the shit on YouTube and the whole world can see us. And we're acting like straight niggers, man. We're, we're, this is entertainment for these people. I, I'm seldom able to go on YouTube and watch something of ingenuity. I love documentaries and I love history. But something being talked about, the black pride, man. Like, what, what, what does that mean? And black women are at the forefront of the self-hate, man. So now you're able to go to college. Whereas the black woman, the black man is the most hated creature on earth. Straight up. I'm telling you right now, straight up. Next to roaches and rats, snakes and other shit like that. From a human standpoint, the black male is the most hated, mistreated, mis un 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 untrustworthy. He is the most vile person on earth. That is what's been taught to the black male. And that's what's been taught to the black family. And this is where the Willie Lynch letter is so important. The concept of that, the concept of Sexism and division, it's, it's the same, it's an age old concept. Divide and conquer. Divide and conquer. And now we have black women who sit there and say, there is no good black men, right? I, I want to date a white man. And some of them are even going on to making videos saying, why I want to date a white man versus a black man. If you like a white man, just say you like a white man. It's like saying, I like black women. First of all, I like all types of women. But that doesn't mean I'm going to say, well, I like women, but Men are bad. No, I just, that's my purpose. I like I like women, or I like Latinas. I like you know Asians. I like white women. I don't have to tell you why I like them. That's my preference. Could it be something social, psychological that has to do with my psychosis? Yes, it could be. But I don't have to explain shit to you. So when you choose to go with your white man, you don't have to make a video about how bad black men are. Because choices are. Let me tell you something. Black men were so so and so so bad. You probably wouldn't be here today. So stop the nonsense and stop the bullshit. We're going to continue on to black women. Okay? And then, like I said, this is probably going to take a very long time before I start talking about the black men. But right now, we're going to start with the black women. Because the majority of the videos I see are geared towards black women. There's a lot of guys out there on YouTube that really don't like their own kind. Like, they're self-hating assholes who really don't like black women. Number one problem with black women, from a male perspective that I generally see talking about, attitude. Oh my God. They say they are independent, strong black women. You know, a black man or any type of man can't handle them. First of all, when you say shit like that, with that type of attitude, nobody wants to fucking handle you in any particular way. Because nobody wants to deal with that bullshit. That the whole concept of a strong black woman is bullshit. The whole concept of a strong anybody is bullshit. There's strong white men, Asian women, Latino men, right? Strong gay men, strong men who are priests that don't believe in sex. You know, I'm not going to get into the ones that like little boys. But they're strong in every single category, baby. You don't need to tell me you're a strong black woman. I don't need to tell you I'm a strong black man. He doesn't have to tell you he's a strong white woman. I mean, strong white man. She doesn't have to prove to you, well, I'm a strong, fertile, independent white woman. I don't hear that. How come I don't hear that from white women? Explain that to me, ladies. White women wear weaves, too. How come nobody's talking about their weaves? Huh? 
Everything that you do, other cultures do, but nobody talks about it. You want to know why? First of all, it's designed for that to happen, ladies. It's designed for me to keep telling you, you're strong, and you don't need a man. Meanwhile, I'm locking your boys. I'm locking your husbands, your uncles, your dads in jail. I'm locking them in jail, man. I'm taking them back to the fucking jail that they belong. Because that's the social concept that I've constructed. Now, I hope anybody who's watching this doesn't understand I mean I. I'm talking about I mean the society um, that is, is doing the action. I mean the system. If you're an idiot and you don't like my videos and you can't comprehend it, you're not up there, you say maybe, oh, he has an action, he talks too much, and he's arrogant. Oh, listen, I have a right to be arrogant. I've earned that shit. Okay? If that's what you call arrogant, I think any smart person has earned it. So if you're an idiot, please, you know, it's 1544. Stop it right now. And continue. We'll wait. Go on. Okay. So you're still here. Those who are still here, thank you. So I'm going to continue on to the whole myth. Strong black women. Ladies and gentlemen, I should continue. you. The minute you say they're strong, so if you're a strong black woman, then who the fuck is weak? Hmm? The brother who goes out with a white woman? White women are weak because they'll allow him to do anything, but I won't. What will they allow him to do that you won't? Cheat? Eh, bullshit. Huh? Beat him? Eh, bullshit. What? Sleep around? Well, let's go back to cheating. Bullshit. Not worth being on the couch and just hang the fuck around for the video games all day? Bullshit. Smoke weed, have pants sagging, you know, talk nonsense all day on Twitter and nothing. Bullshit. No real woman is going to allow that. No matter what the culture, no matter what the color, and no matter what the age, no matter what the fucks, whatever, no woman will allow that. So let's stop the strong independent shit. You cannot be too independent because we're supposed to be a unit. Black men and black women are supposed to be a unit. We're supposed to be one together. If you're so and if you're built to be so independent, you'd be a fucking sexual. That's just the way the world works. Baby girl, I need you as much as you need me. And together, we form a family. We form a unity. Okay? There's a concept to that. There's a reason why it's designed for that. If you want to say you're strong and all that other stuff, prove it. When we go out, I'm not opening the door for you in the cars. I'm not opening the door. I'm not holding the door for you. I expect you to pull your own weight. Okay? I expect you to pay your own weight. Pay half the bills and do your own thing. And not fucking complain about it. Don't give me attitude. Don't complain. Don't try to make it seem like I'm an asshole. And, you know, just because you're paying your shit, don't give me no attitude. Don't treat me differently. Because now, guess what? You're not being strong. You're not being independent. You're being bitter. So show me where you're strong and independent. Show me. If you're so strong and independent, do it. Prove it. Don't tell me you're strong and independent, but you want me to, you know, take out the trash, you know, cut the trees and do all that stuff for others. You know, call bunion on shit. No. You're strong and independent. Do it yourself. How about that? Let's see how strong and independent you are when it's time to do the physical shit. Huh? Unfortunately for you, ladies and gentlemen, for you crazy women out there, Black men are not going to be pushing babies anytime soon, and nor do we want to push babies, nor do we want to have to deal with our period every month. We don't, that, that's your beef. That's your issue. We have our own issue. Our issues come with the police stereotype that uh, typing us. Our issues is that if we have dreads, guess what? We don't get a job. We have our own issues, and so do you. What nature created, we can't touch. Don't tell me you're a strong black woman, and you're a strong woman, and you know, you want me to perform. A super superhuman way in the bed. If you're so strong, I want to lay down. I want to be lazy. I want you to ride me. I want you to do all the work. When I'm ready to come, I want you to wipe me down. I want you to turn me over so I can go to sleep, get my food, because you're strong. I'm weak. That's what society says, right? So guess what? You treat me in such a way. And these little black boys are going around here feminized because they are being raised by single black mothers. I'm going to get into liberalism very soon uh, and how liberalism has affected and warped the mind of the black family. The worst thing that could happen is we integrate it into a burning house. Now, I'm going to get into that a little bit. I'm not against integration, but I'm for preservation, <laughs> all right? And I, I never hate a white person when a white person says, well, how come they don't have a white day? Logically speaking, how come there's no white day? There's been a lot of great white people out there who have invented great things, just like blacks. The only difference is I don't recall blacks enslaving white for 400 years. But let's be honest here. They have a right to have a white entertainment channel. 
just like we have a black entertainment channel. They have a, a right to have whatever. As long as the black entertainment channel is not, is, is, is not you know, bullshitting about the other races, fine. But if the black entertainment channel wants to show slavery, slavery happens. But if the white entertainment family, um, uh, channel wants to start promoting racism, then we might have a problem with that. But if that's not the issue, look, nobody complains about when you get your cable, you get a million Spanish channels. Nobody watches that if you don't speak Spanish. Nobody does shit. That's the right. Just like that's your right as black women to say whatever you want to say. But it's our right as human beings, as black men, who are the most hated creatures, the most hated people in this world, who have suffered so much. Just like you, Adam. Just like you. We have a right to say something too. And we're going to talk about your goddamn attitude. This whole I'm strong and independent shit. Now, mind you, this video is geared towards women. Not ratchet crazy hoes who are running around on YouTube and doing crazy shit. You know, if you're not intelligent, intelligent has nothing to do with college degrees, has nothing to do with anything. Quite frankly, I didn't finish college. Intelligence has nothing to do with anything. There's a natural intelligence we all have. If you're not smart, if you don't know how to critical think, please do not comment. Uh, I'm not going to delete your shit, but you're going to look like a fucking idiot. And I'm telling you right now, straight up. Show me where a strong black woman resides. And 90% of the time, I will show you a single black woman. Now, she's strong and independent. But here's a secret. Let, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me go closer. I'm going to whisper. This is a secret. She's only that way with black men. When it comes to other races, she's very humble. Now, why the fuck is that? I'll tell you why that is. She's been conditioned from the time she was born to think she's inferior. Hmm? Now, the reason why she thinks black men are weak because she thinks there's only two types of black men. The thug, <laughs> the gangster, you know, the baller, you know, the one that has her swag. You know what I mean? The one that she can oh, she's six foot five, he's, you know, Michael Jordan or whatever, but guess what? He's a corporate thug Gangster in the bedroom. If somebody runs up to me, he'll pop him. But he could sit there with a suit and tie and talk to everybody. And he could run a Fortune 500 company. Wishful thinking. Bullshit. It's a myth. There's no such thing. The second type of black guy, in her opinion, oh, he's square. Yeah, oh, yeah, okay, okay. He has big business. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, he's like my little brother. Yeah, he's square. He's he's not excited. He's boring. He's talking about astrology. This guy likes history. Please, he wants to talk about you know loving yourself and being proud of who you are. He he looks like he dresses. Seriously, he has no swag. Little Wayne has swag. Yeah. Carlton Banks, fuck out of here. Man. He's square. I bet you he can't even handle a strong black woman like me. Wrong, wrong, wrong. You are unwise. You're unlectured. You are unloved, uncaring, and unintelligent. If that's how you think. Now, mind you, another disclaimer. This is not towards every single black woman. This is about these idiots out there who really believe there's no good black men. I'm 29 years old. I have a successful business. I do very well. I'm what you would call an American dream. Hmm? My parents were from another country. I was born here. Went back and forth between here and the other country. Went through my troubles. Didn't have to sell drugs. You know, never really cared for the pants sagging situation. I've always dressed nice. I've always dressed fly. But I didn't really have to have a bunch of earrings and this. Listen, I'm not quote unquote dressed and I don't look like some hood idiot. Guess what? The only black girls who really liked me growing up were the older ones. College ones, right? Older ones. Those that grew up in a suburb, in a suburbia. That's about it. The majority of the ones that like me, the women that like me, were not black. They were Latina, Asian, right, and white. And you mean to tell me that I'm the problem? There's no good black men out there. I take exception to that. I have a son and a daughter. And I'll be damned if, my, if someone tells you my son is not good. I think exceptionally, I think a lot of exception to that. Because when you see that brother, and he's walking there, 
with his white girl, or Latina girl, or a light-skinned girl, or Asian girl, or Indian, or what the fuck ever, a non-black girl. You want to say that he's a sellout, he's a hater, oh, fuck him, you want to give back to, what does she have I don't have, he's self-hating, he doesn't love his mother, he doesn't love that. I thought you were strong and independent, so why can't you handle it? Ladies, don't bullshit yourself. You need a man. White woman, please don't make me catch a video of you saying how, you know, white men are idiots and they have small dicks and this and that. Bullshit! Your race would not be where it's at without the white man. Black race would not be where it's at without the white, without the black. Well, <laughs> yeah, it wouldn't be where it's at without the white man. That's true. We'd probably be further along. But uh, the bottom line is, genealogy speaking, in nature, yeah, nature speaking, we all need each other. So that myth is bullshit. Now, second problem, besides the attitude, the fucking weed. We got a problem with that. I got a goddamn problem with that shit. And I can say goddamn because I'm an atheist, so fuck your God. I'm not going to say fuck your hood, I'm going to say whatever God you believe in, fuck him. I don't give a shit. You believe in it, it makes you a good person, good. But goddamn it, the fucking weed, that shit stinks. I see a lot of these girls, they're like, What the fuck is up with that shit, man? They got blow dryers and... Yo, love who you are. To me, you know what that means? I'm an intelligent person. Intelligent black man. You know what that means? You're stupid. Hell, you don't even control that industry. Hmm? You don't control that industry. How are white women, Indian women, Hispanic women, other women, supposed to respect you if you're not trying to look like them, look like you are. Look how all these women could look alike. You are unique and different. Love it, live it, learn it, and become it. You're bullshitting. You want to look like this white woman. Here's the thing, I like. Well, we like to wear our hair different styles. Hey, this is your burden. Have you heard of the white man's burden? This is the black woman's burden. That's your problem. I'm giving you my opinion as a person, as a human being. Now, every woman wears weave, every woman wears that. But when all you rock is a hair hat, and I'm going to quote Tommy Sotomayor here, you know, some of the things he says I like, majority I kind of have, you know, I think he's a little strong, but listen, brother, that this is, that's his opinion, man. If you sisters don't like it, don't watch his channel. You can fly the guy's video you want to, that's his opinion. All right, and from everything I've heard and seen, he's pretty successful. So maybe he's not that much of a dumbass like you might think he is. I'm not coming to his defense. I'm just saying when I see a bunch of people gang up on one person, sometimes I like to ask why. I like to ask why. Why are blacks so hated? Is it because they're so bad? No, or because it's been ingrained that black is evil and good is pure and white is pure and, and all that other bullshit. Right. So you, as my sister, as my mother, as my as my as my daughter, as my wife. As my aunt, cousin, niece, grandmother, you're selling me short. You're selling me short because you're saying I'm no good. From the time a young bad boy is a child, he learns to watch that and understand that. You ain't good. You ain't no good. You just like your fucking dad in his hand. Why, why, first of all, why do you have a bunch of baby daddies? What's going on here? We're going to get to that in a second, by the way. Um, Self-love, like I said, is the root of the problem. That's why you have the hair hat you have going on there. I'm not always in the mood to hear that shit. I go to sleep, I'm sleeping. I wake up, I, I see some strange person who I thought I knew. Hair wrapped up in shit, looking crazy. What the fuck going on? Like, I don't want to deal with that shit. I'm sorry, I don't want to deal with it. Be who you are and love it, man. Come on. Genetically, that's who we are. Yo, you understand we're the strongest race, physically? Huh? We're strong, man. We, we need to love ourselves, man. I'm not saying other races are strong, but we're very strong people. So, my thing is, no matter your national origin, man, your family status, handicap, hair color, religion, sex, race, don't love yourself. You're not going to love anything that looks like you or reminds you of yourself. Third problem. Daddy issue. Oh, my God. Forget about it. They can't recognize a good man. Because they probably never had a good man in their life, or because they think he's square. Remember, we, we spoke about that, right? Either he's, he's boring or he's a thug. They have daddy issues, man. 
like I said, everything wraps into each other. You don't like who you are. From the time you were born, you've seen things and images of beauty and standard of beauty. And you don't like who you are. Right? You feel like you can't get a job without looking a certain way and all that other shit. You have an attitude because you're strong and independent. You have a problem with this hair hat situation. You know how many people, you, ladies and gentlemen, you know how many black women are getting cancer and they, they can't even be diagnosed? What the fuck does that shit do to your hair? Does it, what, do you, what does it do to your hair, man? What does it do to you? And then, you, and then on top of that, you have daddy issues. Because you want somebody to take care of you more than you want, more than you're willing to participate and contribute to taking care of that other person. You have daddy issues, man. You hate him because he probably wasn't around. You won't recognize someone who's being a good father to his son because he's fucking what? Square. The minute he's not with you and he's with another woman, you run to the courts, child support, daddy issues. You need the states to take care of you, man. The U.S. government has to take care of you. Liberalism will provide. Obama, he's going to send you that check. All you got to do so that the daddy can take care of you is for you to sit there and say, okay, I'm going to um, get the welfare and, and get the food stamp. And um, Oh, yeah, oh, by the way, um, yeah, right there, there's a part that says if he's, if he's in the house, you don't get it. So you need to say that like he's not in the house, and that way you'll get it. Never in your mind to think, well, what would happen to him? Automatically, motherfucker, they put that dude on child support. You need daddy to be there for you. That's why you run to these men who are, you know, he's a thug, he's a gangster. The minute you say something to him, he fucks you up. What do you think a thug and a gangster does? They rob, kill, steal, and all that shit. Uh, what do you think he's going to do when you piss him off? Hmm? I know women, when the guy's beating him, beating her, after the guy's finished beating her, she goes and she cooks him the best meal he's ever eaten. She cleans the house, she takes care of it. Daddy issues. She, she likes to be, she missed it. She needs, psychologically speaking, she hasn't been spanked in a while. So that's something that she needs. Ladies and gentlemen, that is scary. That is a scary proposition when you sit there and you watch all these black women have daddy issues. You ever wonder why your dad wasn't around? Hmm? You think all the kids know that have white fathers around? But why are your men, your fathers, your uncles, your brothers, grandfathers, are disproportionately not around? You think it's from their own willing? Now, like I said before, I know the sound of the funny black men. It's a necessary evil. It's something that we're going to take on the, on the black men's side, and then we're going to get on it from the black women's side. Unfortunately, I'm going to be very honest with you from the outset of this shit. The black men's side will be very short compared to the black women's side. Very small. Very small. And I'll tell you why. Because I'm a black man. So I'm going to be biased towards black men. Like I said before, it starts with the women. And I truly, honestly believe if you don't get your shit together, the black women, the black race will be fucked. Okay. And, well, that's racist. No, it's not racist. It's, psychologically speaking, that's what happens. And also, just, look, I, my family's from Haiti. How many Native Americans think are running around Haiti? No, wait. When they got decimated and, and killed off by the by the Spaniards and all that other shit, they went and started importing Africans. That's, ladies and gentlemen, people go extinct, uh, extinct, animals go extinct, plant go, plants go extinct, and one day our fucking planet will be extinct. That, that's natural, nigga. That's just the world. If you don't like it, get with it. If you don't want it, get out of it. You see what I'm saying? It is what it is. Like I said, it is what it is. There's a natural order to things. You cannot sit there as black women and sit there and then the black man, black man, black man, black man. Psychologically speaking, it is resonating and it is becoming to full effect. So we spoke about self hate from the time she's born, uh, the attitude, the weed, the daddy issue. Too masculine is the fifth problem. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know how many men who are men who want a woman that can probably whoop his ass. That's just not. Men, we have egos. We have pride. We, we, you know, a lot of us work out. I don't really because I'm busy and I wish I could. Um, you know, I'm sitting here being a fat ass. But the point is, we like to be in control. We do our pride, our ego. Listen to me. You cannot have a line if you take away his pride. He's not a line anymore. What the fuck you want? A big ass fucking furry cat? Cut his goddamn nails, 
you know, cut his teeth and all that shit, you know, trim his, you know, his fucking mane and make him look cute and pretty and all that other shit to the image that you want because he looks threatening to you and all that other shit. Make him look non-threatening, then guess what? You don't have a fucking line. You got a goddamn pussy cat. And that's what a lot of you women want. You don't want a line. You know they say the line of Judah, right? But no, like example, Bob Marley, Rastafari, believe in that shit. The line of Judah and all the other stuff. I think all religions are based on some truth, by the way. Um, so we'll get into that some other time. The philosophies are based on some truth. So back to the 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 the, the demasculinization of women of men, and also the masculinization of women. I mean, what the fuck? I sat there and I saw this thing called Title Nine. This movie was called uh, um, Nine X or something. They had on uh, e, e, um, ESPN E three E sixty and ESPN E sixty. I looked at it with an open mind. And I came to the conclusion. Half are true, half are bullshit. The worst thing that could happen to the black woman, listen to it, feminism and socialism. We're sitting here talking about, oh, I'm independently strong and this and that. So guess what? I'm a, I'm going to talk to him like I'm a man. Have you seen the video with that jabroni? She's sitting on the bus. She walks on the bus. She spits in guy's face. She slaps him a couple of times. She's elevated. Like, <laughs> she's talking shit because she feels like, like a fucking little chihuahua because she knows he can't get up and do anything about it. Right to her. But then guess what? She makes the cardinal mistake. She keeps going on. Loud. See, man, we can't deal with that shit. We have another problem with another man. Yo, he's talking shit. Give me a second. I'm going to go whoop his ass. You go, you whoop his ass. You come back, shoot your video. You chill it. Hope you shake hands with that man. If he's not dead, hope you're not in jail. That's just life. That's how we, that's, yo. Male on male violence is not a black on black thing. It's a world over. It is what it is. The male plant wants to fuck another female plant. So he's going to kill that male. It, it is what it is. Male lines that, male lines, if there's one kid on me, one or two lines in the pride of the male. I mean, that's just the way life is. If you got a problem with it, like I said, get out of it, commit suicide, do what you got to do to get out of this world, because it ain't for you. It's only for the strong motherfucker. Now, if I see a woman, I want a woman. I want somebody tender, soft, somebody who speaks like a woman with a different tone. Yeah, nigga, I want to fuck your nigga. The dude gets up, uppercuts the bitch. Next time I see this, this chick, she's being interviewed by some other crazy woman. Well, how do you feel like as a woman? Being here, I felt so bad because I mean, you know, I mean, and she tries to be proper about I felt so bad because I'm a woman and I, you just don't hit a woman. Okay, so you could sit there, beat my mama, fuck my uh, my, my, my child, my, my kids up, burn my house, cut my dick off, do whatever you want to do, spit my face, curse off my God, whatever you gotta do. But I can't touch you because you're a woman. Like I said, you guys are automatically on a pedestal because you guys have the ability to get birth. Doesn't make you better, doesn't make you stronger, doesn't make you more privileged, doesn't make me anything like that. You're on a pedestal because of nature has put you there. But guess what? We're also on a pedestal because we're fucking stronger. You're going to walk up to a dude, you're going to smack the shit out of him and curse him out and spit in his face. I mean, cut him up, do what you... I know a girl who took a cigarette, lit that shit up, I mean, took a blunt, lit it up, smoked it, called out, you know what I mean? Put that shit in the guy's eyes, you know, as soon as the guy wakes up, first thing he sees is a slug, whoops her ass. He goes to jail. But there's no cause and effect. Stop acting like a fucking bully. We, we wanna, I want to come home to a woman, man. I want to be able to hold you and kiss you. and I want you to make me feel all gooey inside. You know what I'm saying? Like She's my woman. She's not my goddamn warden. I come home and this chick is like, Where the fuck you been? I'm going to call my brother. I'm going to fuck you up. Whoa, what the fuck? I'm not trying to get my ass torn. What's next? You going to put a dildo strap on? Fuck me and have me do all the chores? You know, you've heard of barefoot and pregnant? How about barebacking in the kitchen, nigga? That's what these women want. They want to fuck you up the ass, have you go to work, take care of the kids, make food in the kitchen. Don't you dare talk about her goddamn weed that she's had on for four fucking months that stinks. Smells like shit. But if you do, she's going to fuck you up. What she's going to call her daddy? Who happens to be the cop? He's going to come beat your ass, take you to jail, and then she's going to go and say, I can't find a good man. Come on, stop the bullshit. At the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, like I said, it starts with the woman. A lot of really good women out there. My mother was a great woman. I never saw my mother wear a weave. My mother was smart, beautiful, intelligent. Looks like a typical black woman. And I love her to death. I've, I always made jokes with my mom. I said, man, if I go back, I'd marry you. You never know how much of a good woman my mom was. It's sad though that we don't have that anymore like that. It's very rare, man. It's very, very rare. 
Okay, so that's that's a big issue. Um, so you know, I'm not telling you not to work out. I'm not telling you not to be strong. You're beautiful when you're strong. Look at Serena Williams. That's, that's, that's a specimen, bro. Have you seen this girl's butt? She's beautiful. She's strong. And then you can have those like in Alicia Keys. She's, you know, she's not as strong, but she's so talented. She's beautiful. Personality strong. Look at the Beyonce, man. Let me tell you something, man. Jay-Z's born December 4th. I'm born. I was born December 3rd. There's something to be said about Sagittarius men. We speak our mind. But let me tell you something. We know how to pick our women too, generally. And Beyonce is, oh, wow. I mean, what, what, what a specimen of a woman is. Even though she's making millions upon millions. And I know she has a weed, whatever. First of all, I love the new look, by the way. I think she's beautiful. That is a beautiful woman. If you can keep up with it, fine. I don't think I want to see it every day. Some men are cool with that. I'm just not that cool with that. But she respects her man. I'm not going to say she knows her place. But she respects her man. She respects him as a man. She respects her as a woman. When we take a lion and a lioness. Put them in a cage. They're going to fight. But then. He's going to be the lion. And she's going to allow him. I mean. She, she's going to allow him to be the lion. And he's going to love her for being a lioness. And at the end of the day. This is what we are, man. This is who we are. We are beautiful people. We're flawed, but we're beautiful people. So when I see a woman, shorty got on a do rag. Uh, she got on baggy jeans. Like she got on. She's rocking some Tim, something looking like some Wu Tim shit. I mean, and she's she's upset. Am I married to a woman, or did I just get locked in jail? What's going on here? The, uh, you know, the feminization, man, like, is it, it, being gutted out of black girls, man. Yo, what's up, nigga? What's up? They, they want to talk like men? They want to, yeah, I fucked him. I fucked that dude. I'm going to fuck you. I'm going to fuck her, too. You can't fuck anybody, bitch. You ain't got no dick. Fuck, oh, I'm going to get a joke. <laughs> really? And I'm not, I'm not homophobic because I know what they're going to say. But all I'm saying is this. You cannot fuck anyone unless you're penetrating them. Like, if you want to get a deal, go ahead and do it. That's, that's on you. Well, I don't like people using that word, I'm going to fuck them. You can't fuck anybody. You're going to do whatever you got to do, but you ain't going to be fucking. I'll tell you that much. There's going to be a whole lot stuck in the licking. And ain't going to be fucking. And no man's going to sit there and allow you to fuck him up the ass. Psychologically speaking, some men enjoy that shit. Some men enjoy it. That's their thing. I just so happen to not be one of those guys. But some guys enjoy it. But I, I think I got a little diverted. So going back to the original point. Be more feminine. Be more caring. Be more womanly, you know? Hey, sweetie. Hey, baby, you know? Shit, write me a goddamn poem, too, man. What, what's up with Valentine's, bro? Can I get some, too? You know, be more ladylike, and I'm going to be more gentlemanlike. Because if I can't get that from you, I don't give a fuck what race you are. I'm going to go find it somewhere else. Because when I come home, I'm going to, hey, baby, how was your day? This and that. Is that too much to ask? Huh? I'm an intelligent brother, so I don't need you in the kitchen cooking, sweating up, and doing all that nonsense. I want you to go to school, go to college, get your education, get your degree, become somebody, man. Become legendary. And together, we'll be great. We don't have to have a lot of money. We can be living in a shack. But I'm going to love you. You're going to love me because you're my wife, and I'm your husband. And, you know, but fine. You might not get, ever get married. But we're going to be the best baby mama and baby daddy pair that's ever been around. And you know why? Because we love each other. We don't need to sit there and fight with each other. I know my role as a man, you know your role as a woman, and together we are a power couple. I'm not telling your roles to be in the kitchen, I'm telling your role is to be my mate. Be the soft part of me. I'll go do the fight and I'll fight the wars for you, but be the tender love and caring that I need. Be my heart, please. That's all I'm asking, bro. That's all I'm asking. So those are one of the those are the top five things that a lot of um men have. And actually fuck it. Those are a lot of the top five things that I have a problem. Okay? So and that's really not any particular order, but it just saddens me when I watch black women say there's no good black men out there. There are. You're just choosing the fucked up ones. Because you got daddy issues, you got image issues, you know, you, you don't believe in certain things. 
Because you don't want a punk, man. You want a, you don't you want no square nigga. You want a gangster dude. A gangster boo. <laughs> but you gotta tell he fucks you up, knocks you up, and moves out. And go does the same process for another woman. You're not educating your sons to be men. You're trying to feminize these boys, man. You should never hit a woman. Really? Okay. I've never had to hit a woman in my life. The keyword had to. If you step inside my house, you do some shit to me, harm my family, you could be and beat your ass. I don't give a fuck who you are. And at the same token, let's be more practical. You're a woman, I'm a man. I hope I'm a man, right? I know some people are like, you're not a man, you're a bitch. Whatever. The point is very simple. I'm a male, you're a female. At what point do I get upset that you're slapping me, that you're dead? At what point do I get upset? If I can't walk away, what do I do? Which brings me to the last point, number six. Respect. There's no respect. Oh my God. Forget about it. There's no respect, son. It's a rap. Respect who? Niggas? Black girls don't respect men, period. They fear and love and worship and respect daddy. Which they think the ultimate goal to get a white man, this and this and that, or that, you know, a successful black man who is going to take and let them walk all over them. That's daddy. They fear daddy, but they have no respect for a black man. Ladies and gentlemen, let me explain to you why they have no respect for us, the roots of that stuff. When you divide a family up, the mom and the kids, the dad and the state, there's going to be a clash. The mom will never respect him because she knows he has no power. Take a look at this. If she calls the cops, he's not getting the benefit of the doubt. He's going straight to jail. If she puts his hands on her, even though she attacked him first, I'm telling you, she's going to cut off his balls. He's still going to go to jail. Society is still going to look at him like a fucking demon. A black nigger who just hit another woman. Typical nigger shit. There's no power to be had. Oh, and oh, by the way, he doesn't have a job because society won't hire him because of what he looked like or whatever. They managed to divide the black family along the lines of power and finances, which has affected the black family. Psychology has fucked us up. Our women don't respect us as black men. A lot of it has to do with us as black men. But a lot of it has to do with black women. Can't you see through the bullshit? The same man who would beat your husbands, put him on the field, cut off his dick, cut off his leg if you try to run away, right? Try to run away, right? The same man who do all that shit, have him working in a sugar cane field, cut up, beat up, fucked up, not allowed to go to school, is the same man that was creeping into your little cabin at nighttime, raping you. But he loves you. Yeah, daddy loves you. Oh no, forget it. Why don't they black men? Oh, black men? Uh uh. Black men are caring. They did, they did, they did. No, bitch, you hate yourself. Same thing with any nigga out here that says you don't date black women. In general, not all black women are the same, motherfucker. You hate yourself. You're a self hating cunt. And you're a self hating pussy. You can't respect a woman. And you can't respect a man because you think it's not the color, bitch. And I'm going to call you a bitch because you deserve to be called a bitch at this particular point in the video. Because if you can sit there and tell me, you rather date, how do you forgive the murder of your father, bro? You rather date that rapist? I'm not saying all white people, I'm just talking about in general. And you subscribe to a philosophy of death, breakup of the family unit, and just total, total reliability on that. Now, I'm not a Republican. The only reason why I don't vote Republican is because they're fucking racist. But my philosophy is generally in tune with that Republican Party. The only difference is I don't like the way they treat immigrants, and I don't like the way they talk about gays. Well, in actuality, that's pretty much all the Republican Party is nowadays. It's a party of haters. So that's why I'm going to tell you, I am a liberal. But I'm a fucking socialist too, ladies and gentlemen. I believe in social reform. I believe in people who are, that we all collectively are responsible for each other. The socialism I talk about, the liberalism I talk about with these black women is the ones that they are willing to sign papers that says that they are going to put their baby daddy in fucking child support and pay the government. Ladies and gentlemen, child support is incredibly evil. 
It is a necessary evil, and I'm telling you something, it is fucking evil, and most of the time it is not necessary. It is a money-making machine for the state. These black women are not understanding what's happening. They are teaching you to hate. I believe half the people on YouTube, a, a, a good 2-3% of them, I'm going to say half. Half of them are dumb, but a good 2-3% of them that are on there, I believe they're agents of the CIA, man, straight up. Like, they, they, they put there, man, to just fuck up the black unity in this country, man. Come on, man. These guys are moles, man. How could you sit there and talk so bad about a black woman? Now, I know people will say, well, how are you working in contradiction? I'm not like, talking. I'm, I'm explaining to you certain things. I gave you six reasons. And I explain each reason. And then I'm going to give how we can stop that shit. And how black women can go back to being the queens, man. The mothers of the pharaohs, dude. The first people alive were black women. Straight up. I'm going to teach you. I'm going to talk about that. I'm not going to teach you because I ain't no, you know teacher, but I'm going to tell you what I believe. You can take it. You can, you, know, you can hate me. You can flag me. You can say, fuck my mama and do all that shit. Whatever. At the end of the day, I'm going to speak my opinion. And my opinion is such. And you can like it, love it, or hate it and leave it. <laughs> you know what I mean? It is. How do you sit there and not see what's going on, you know? I've seen these, I mean, these women are really beautiful. First of all, I saw another thing with this lady named Sherry Shepard. Listen, by no stretch of the imagination is this a beautiful woman. I don't give a fuck what she is. First of all, you're a fat bitch. I don't like you. I'm going to call you a bitch. You're rocking these crazy hair hats. You're a stupid, dumb, Christian woman who, who just, you're, you're like, the, you're, if Willie Lynch could produce a woman, <laughs> it would be Sherry Shepard. Straight up. A black woman as a model example would be Sherry Shepard. And I mean, she's like, sometimes she borderlines on the uh, on the line of the black and culture type. I'm watching this thing you have with Steve Harvey, um, some other dude named Homer, who's like some pretty boy. Um, you know, this group discussion that they had on ASC, I mean, on, a on ABC, and she was just sitting there making faces when the black guys were talking, this and this and that. At what point does the dude say, you know what? Enough of the bullshit. Fuck y'all. I'm gonna just date whoever. At what point does that happen? If all the black men did outside the race and all the black women did outside the race, what do you think would happen? White people would still be around. Black people would not be there anymore. Well, what's so wrong with that? Black people have to go through so much stuff. Once you lose your culture, you lose everything. And so when I see these black women who are successful and all this other stuff, they say, I can't find a good black man. I can't find my, my equal. I can't find, what, who the fuck is your equal? In fact, why does he have to be your equal, man? Why does he have to make the same amount of money as you do? Explain to me why. But you're independent and shit, right? Why does he have to worry about your shit? He's gonna worry about his shit. Well, I can't find a man who won't get up the couch. What the fuck? Who, who, who's on the couch? If you're with a man who's on the couch all the time, then you are choosing the wrong man. Daddy issues. Self-love issues. You women want to deal with a man who you know ain't gonna go nowhere, man. So control that motherfucker. You want to change the dog. You take a pit bull and you want to turn him into a, po a poodle. It doesn't work that way. You take a line, you cut off his mane, you dress him real cute, you make him, you know, just real pretty, and if, when he tells jump, the line is, you gonna jump? It doesn't work that way. One day I fuck the line and bite your goddamn neck off. Because he's a lion. He's a fucking dog. He's a gangster. That's what he does. And who's producing these gangsters? Single black women who, I don't need no man. I'm independent. You can't raise a man if you're not a fucking man. How, how are you gonna tell him, hey son, by the way, when your dick gets hard when you see a woman, it's okay to have these nasty thoughts. Because you are a man, it's okay to say, damn, I'm fucking shot at You're going to be looking at, oh my god, that's so rude, don't say that. Every man thinks that. If you're not a man, you can't tell him, hey, son, you can't act upon those behaviors like that. You got to get rid of that primal instinct shit. And you got to get rid of times, brother. You got to be able to say, hey, man, she's a beautiful woman. Even the crack whore on the street is a beautiful woman. But you can't teach him that because you ain't no fucking man. You can't teach him that shit. He's growing up in a house, six goddamn women. You're trying to like mold him into like some sort of like the man you want to have. But the man you want to have is one confused motherfucker. He's selling drugs, but he has the morals of a preacher. He to talk like Obama. But he should speak slang like ODB. He could go into a corporate meeting like Jay-Z. 
but he could be locked in jail like motherfucking Wendy. I mean, what the fuck do you want, nigga? Pick and choose. But don't blame your daddy, your society. Don't blame anybody. At this day and age, we all have YouTube. We all have videos. This is an hour-long video, the longest I've ever made. We all know what's right and what's wrong. Black women, stop the bullshit. Stop the nonsense. Love yourself. Stop with the daddy issues. Seek a psychologist. Do something. But more importantly, stop the emasculating your men. Oh, I, I got so so hyped. I hit the fucking laptop. Love who you are, man. You're gonna tell me that what I'm saying what I'm saying here is wrong. You wanna flag this shit? Why? Don't give me that nonsense. There's no good black men out there. There's good black men out there. You don't see that shit because you choose not to see that shit. It saddens me when I go to YouTube and all I see is these type of videos, man. Little black girls are like, yeah, jump down there. Uh, God. Don't you think this, there's a reason why this is happening? You're being used as pawns. It's not because they love you so much. It's because they hate us so much. And you're being used. And how am I going to fight a war on two fronts, man? Ask Napoleon. Ask Hitler. Ask anybody, man. Ask anybody who's a great world leader. Ask Alexander the Great. There's only so many fronts you can fight. I got to fight society. I got to fight the lack of culture, religion, mental shit going on. A black man cannot express his feelings because he's automatically labeled gay, soft, weak, nerd, and, you know, just lame. And then I got to fight my woman? Yo, mira, what am I going to do? Like, what am I going to, how can I win? I can't win. So, ladies, you control it. If you want to change the stuff, man, all you got to do, all you have to do is basically change some of your behaviors, love who you are, love your brothers, and guess what? Look at the bullshit that's happening. Pay attention to the game that's being played, baby, because they're using you as a pawn. And when they're done, having you help extract me out of this fucking position and just basically locking me up and fucking me up and all that shit, guess who's coming next? You really think white women think you're equal to them? Keep going after their men and see what's going to happen to you. Love yourself. Love your daddies. Love your brothers. We need you. I'm out. Much love.